Hey y'all. I know, I know. <laughs> let's get right into the video we're going to pretend like i'm not two days late on releasing yeah that's what we're gonna do okay <laughs> well if you are new here hi i'm diamond also known as the quality name here on youtube instagram and technically twitter i make videos about styling my hair basically and in a couple lifestyle type type things yeah so if you're interested definitely subscribe you know like the video i guess i mean you could watch and then be like okay let me see let me try this out i don't know maybe <laughs> everything that i use will be listed in the description box below right now i'm just starting out with distilled water and um just prepping my hair for my hairstyle i am doing a low sleek uh ponytail with like a, a side part <laughs> sorry i was listening to a podcast anyways uh yeah so i'm doing a low sleek ponytail with a uh side part and a side bang thing about yeah that's what i'm doing so if you watched my last video, then you saw um, that I was trying to pick between three different outfits of what I wanted to wear. Um, and you guys um, overwhelmingly chose outfit number two. I can't say it was probably my fault. I, 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 I was feeling myself in the clip. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I thought that this hairstyle would be best paired with this because I love the off shoulder look and I felt like I just wanted the, the dress to be the main focus. Uh, so I'm like, ooh, what could I do? I think like a little cute little low pony would be super cute with this. Um, yeah, but like, do you guys have any like other hairstyles that you think would go really well with this with this look? I mean, if, if you don't know what the dress looks like, I, I have the timestamps in the description box below too, uh, so you can see and then click back and be like, okay, girl, I would have went with the, you know, I don't, uh, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so right now what I'm doing is looking serious for no reason, uh, but I am putting my hair in a low ponytail and <laughs> y'all, that podcast, side note, uh, I was listening to uh, Morbid, I just got into it, so I'm on like the super duper old episodes um, but I think they were talking about this Excedrin case where like people were dying from taking Excedrin and I'm just like, wait, what? Like, oh my goodness, that's scary. Ah, come to find out it was just this lady who was like poisoning her husband, husband or attempting to poison her husband to get more money and she ended up poisoning other people and they ended up dying and I'm just like, what huh anyways um so uh what i did was i just placed some bobby pins or hair pins uh hair pins are the ones that are like a little bit wider on the inside and they kind of have like just like an arch um but i placed those on um just two of my locks i believe just to give it like the the pushed back look but i do end up switching it up and you guys will see that uh because i didn't think it was deep enough like i wanted i wanted it to cover my forehead just a little bit more i am in need of a retwist sort of kind of i don't know with my hair being um colored and like in need of more coloring i'm kind of going through this this weird like wanting everything to look sleek i guess kind of thing to make me feel more feminine i don't know what do you guys ladies like what, what are your thoughts or people who identify as as, as women wh what are your thoughts on femininity and locks like i think i want to do a whole video on it because like as of late i have been feeling less feminine i don't i don't even know how to describe it it's so weird because i feel so beautiful yet less feminine and i don't know if it's just like my masculine energy like popping out on me or like what it is but I don't know anyways so um like as you can see i loosened up some of the locks in the front to um give me like a deeper side part um and i'm just putting some some of the ones that i didn't want to be a part of the bank back into the ponytail with a different hair tie I'm grabbing uh, a couple of the ones in the front and then I'm using hairpins again to secure that. But yeah, so I've been like craving more looks that make me feel, I don't even know how to describe it because what it even is femi femininity, you know? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Y'all probably like, girl, I came to watch you get ready for a date. What is you even talking about? I know, I know. <laughs> But we here now, so 
uh, I grabbed some of my locks in the back just to cover slightly the band in the back. You can still kind of sort of see it. And then I grabbed this cute little um, hairpin that has a couple of pearls on it that I thought would just like accentuate the dress and just be super cute and simple. Here's me trying to do a, a quick turnaround and my shirt uh, choking me. <laughs> Anyways. Typically what I like to do is my hair first and then I wrap my hair up. And then the next thing that I do is shower and everything. And the reason why I do my hair first is just so it gets like as laid as possible. Um, you guys will see the next clip now. Okay, so because I wasn't about to take you guys in the shower with me, I just wanted to show you really quickly. So I bathe with cast off soap. I do dilute it right here. I'm just giving you an example. So I lather my body up and I do use a loofah. I am thinking of getting one of those like longer cloths that are like exfoliating cloths. I love using um, salt scrubs and what the one that I'm using today is the Bahari Luxe Sea Moss Himalayan Salt Scrub. And this is a black woman owned based out of LA by Bahari Organics and uh, you guys my skin <laughs> felt so good after using it like oh, i'm so grateful the ingredients are black seed oil organic Himalayan salt lemongrass oil mango oil and of course wild crafted irish sea moss i will leave a description <laughs> i will leave a description i will leave uh, the information about this uh this salt scrub in the description box below it's just so you guys can check out this company and support a black woman owned business uh, i'm telling you your skin is going to be so so happy After I use the salt scrub, I like to rinse my body with cool water. And then I go ahead and I grab some coconut oil. And that's what I use to basically seal in that moisture. And this is what keeps my skin super soft. And you know, you wanna be all soft and cuddly for dates and whatnot. I, I mean, I guess, right? Yeah, no, possibly. I know, big, why, why is that jar so big? <laughs> for no reason. I obviously use a whole bunch of coconut oil. After I lather my body with coconut oil, I like to put on a fragrance. And the fragrance that I am using today is by Dossier, and this is the Ambery Saffron. And this one is my absolute favorite. All right, let's go. <laughs> so here I have the dress on and I put on my favorite necklace and I had to make sure I didn't have no uh, nip slips, <laughs> but put on my go-to hoop earrings and I'm ready to go. I don't really wear much makeup. So this is the final look and I don't wear shoes in my house. So I couldn't really show you guys what I would pair it with, but what, what would you guys pair it with? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh yeah all right peace bye <laughs>